everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be flying the Juicy 4 Servo Wing. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. When we get to a thousand subscribers, we're going to do subscriber giveaways. We're on the top of Mount Zion in Golden, Colorado, and I don't know if you can tell, but uh, the wind's blowing. And finally, it's at a reasonable pace that I can uh, do some some testing. This is kind of the culmination of why I started this project was to 3D print dynamic soaring planes. Uh, I want to be able to print them as quickly as possible and as inexpensive as possible so I can permit so I can print copies because I'm a terrible pilot and well these crash a lot. I've crashed so many planes doing dynamic soaring and 3D printing came across as an idea of how do I get the cost down but keep the enjoyment high. Okay, so this has the 10 millimeter carbon spar in it. It weighs in at 980 grams. This is a similar design to the two servo wing that I've been flying in the past in my other videos, but I thought it was time for some flaps. The fuselage is the same rough tin fuselage as the, the other builds. Um, watch those videos to build that. First, let's show you how to build it. All right, so here are all the parts for the Juicy Wing. Uh, we got the printed parts, servos, carbon, servo covers, and here's the assembly drawing that tells you where everything goes together. And of course, some thin CA to glue it. Suggest so making the wing panels out of PLA. Just PLA is the stiffest material and it's like the cheapest. So you get uh, the benefit of inexpensive and stiffness. You can use other materials if you'd like, uh, your choice. Carbon, uh, multiple sources for the carbon. These, uh, the 10 millimeter by one meter carbon tubes are available from multiple locations. These are used in the bigger drones. I will have links on the product page and or on the website and in the description below of where you can get these off of Amazon, Aloft Hobbies, as well as a link to Race Day Quads if you want to try them out. But Aloft Hobbies will have a kit available with the servos and the carbon uh, that you can just do one click ordering. All right, so we have activated all of the hinges and we've installed the servos. Now we're gonna test fit everything together to make sure it fits the way we want when we start putting some glue on it. So again, uh, this is a three spar setup. One in the front, a square spar in the middle, and another one in the back. Don't forget to test fit the, the flap and the aileron support strip that goes in as well. So, Got front spar, main spar, back spar, and then the support. All right, everything's test fit together. All the carbon fits where it's supposed to. Servos go in the right place. We can now take it all apart. We're gonna leave the center panels together. We're gonna start in the center and glue those all together using our thin CA, and then keep adding the panels. We're gonna go back and hit each of the seams with a little bit of CA. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, it builds exactly like the other wings. Mount, uh, I hot glued my servos in place and used Z-bins to connect all of the control surfaces. This is just like the uh, other four servo wings. In, in putting on the servo covers, you don't want to go too far forward with your screw, um, but I do have a screw in each of the servo covers 
just to make sure that there's some mechanical attachment to keep them from flying off at high speeds. Um, just in front of that is the carbon spar, so you don't want to go too far forward with your screw. With, with the wing attached, you want it to balance. It should balance right on the, the spar with a little bit of head. Depending, uh, I had to add a chunk of lead as well as my battery and everything to get it all set up. <clears throat> the receiver is under the wing. Hopefully it'll help it survive a crash into... Let's, uh, let's turn it on real quick. Double A battery, four pack. Uh, it's a single servo elevator, four servos in the wing, lead ballast up front. Got to use nickel metal hydride batteries up here because, well, you hit the ground going 100 miles an hour, uh, lithium ion, uh, it could start a fire. This could start a fire too, but uh, not as easily as lithium ion. Winds are out of the west to northwest at 13 miles an hour sustained, gusting to 26. Changes how much wind in my face. reason it feels like my rates are really high
that's exciting. I got lucky on that one. Well, good thing I brought a bag. plane almost fits nicely in there all right so that didn't quite go as planned uh rarely does but that's why it's great that these are so inexpensive to build um i'll build another one and another one and keep flying them gonna keep improving the design and updating the files and trying to make this thing go faster and faster so that was part one uh, hopefully we'll have more parts with some better flying, faster flying, and better landing. So stay tuned. So much fun. It's very addictive. And this, this, this project's been really cool. Ooh, servo. Oh, yeah.